The world's most powerful countries are always instructing the less powerful on best practices, but sometimes their advice is not taken, as in the case of Ecuador under the presidency of Rafael Correa. Correa and his team inherited a ghastly debt and economic doldrums. They did just about everything the international banks told them not to do. I was in Ecuador last summer and was able to ask the man who was finance minister at that time what happened. He's Pedro Paez. In uh, 2007, we uh, started a new popular government uh, with the mandate to finish with the austerity policies. All the uh, Washington consensus policies had rendered our country um, totally deindustrialized. The people was really uh, upset, and we toppled three presidents along three, uh, along ten years. No, so uh, what happened was that uh, the people said that's enough, enough is enough, and let's go for a, a national majority ch to change the country. We have to reinvent pos uh, possibilities in terms of the treasury in terms of the rehabilitation of the public banking that had been crippled, systematically crippled during the previous decades. In the first uh, uh, year, uh, on top of the increase in, uh, in uh, public investment, we tripled the amount of uh, loans from the, from the public banks in order to promote development. Wow. The agricul uh, Agricultural Bank, the, the Development Bank, uh, domestically, we uh, have uh, enhanced the possibilities also of the credit unions, uh, the connection and the, the 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 training and the the transactionality of the small uh, credit unions and uh, financial cooperatives and the uh, cajas de ahorro, the small communal banks that increase the possibilities of, uh, at the level of the territory and the community. Mm -hmm. We uh, are trying to multiply the operators in the markets and uh, to raise the possibilities for the, for example, uh, from the territory, from the communities with the grassroots organizations, uh, trying to organize uh, and to enhance the productive forces at the level of the provinces, at the level of the counties, at the level of the parishes. And uh, we had plenty of, of, uh, of new organizations now with the uh, productive assemblies that we had uh, uh, provoked, we had facilitated uh, all around the country in order to um, take advantage of uh, the new venues that uh, had been opened, for example, in terms of the supermarkets. For the first time, the supermarkets had to give some place for the production of the popular economy, for the production of the indigenous communities, the artisans, the, the, the peasants, the self-employed that had been excluded all this time. Mm -hmm. Breaking down with the whole tradition that uh, even uh, ideological and psychological assumes that everything that we do is worthless that the only thing that uh, I, 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 is worthy is the the production that came from abroad yeah. all the imports Th all this complex of inferiority had not only damaged our economy and the dynamics of the society but had also a, a, a poison our soul and uh, as a part of this uh, transformation of the society is this real yes we can has to start for the conviction that it is possible to destroy all this ocean of impossibilities that had uh, uh, suffocated our, our life and to um, use even the market without any illusion about the market as a panacea, but to take advantage even of the mechanisms of the market in order to, uh, uh, to take uh, the most of ourselves.